Hi, how's it going? Um, I've I've always had trouble uh, inking uh, using digital uh, digital uh, programs, specifically uh, Photoshop, which is you know industry standard. Um, I really love uh, Manga Studio, and one of the reasons why I love Manga Studio is because the inking in it uh, is so much uh, more uh, designed for artists. Uh, one of the things that I really uh, and, and uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the benefits of, uh, of inking in Manga Studio, and why it's worth having and uh, and how to use it. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on the Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 20 years. And um, really quickly, let me explain uh, here uh, one of the reasons why I really like uh, using Photoshop. I mean uh, Manga Studio. To ink with instead of Photoshop, and here's one of the reasons. One, if you're familiar with Photoshop, the standard layer creation, the standard layer is a raster layer. A raster layer is like a bitmap. Um, it's easier to draw with. Um, this drawing here that I'm that I have here on the screen is a uh, raster drawing. Um, the raster is basically you know you get a. I use the pencil tool. And uh, it just lets you make, you know, if you have a, it's kind of, it acts like a pencil. If you if you press down lightly, it, it it's a lighter line, darker, it's a darker line. Okay, so that's a raster layer. And that it works ex pretty much exactly the way it does in Photoshop. Now, however, um, there is another button here, and that is the vector layer. And the vector is kind of what uh, Illustrator uses. And it takes up less memory, and uh, but but the, but really the the thing about um, using um, vectors to uh, ink in, in in Manga Studio is that it uh, it helps uh, straighten up and and uh, stabilize the line. That's really what it is. It stabilizes the line, so you don't get these shaky kind of uh, lines when you're trying to do a finished drawing, which is one of the things that's really frustrating me, r frustrating for me uh, using uh, Photoshop. So um, that's one of the three things I'm going to talk talk about. Um, besides, um, I'm also going to show you how, uh, because of the vector line, uh, you get to manipulate it more, and because of the vector line, the eraser tool is actually really fantastic. So let me really quickly. So let's say that I've already got my uh, raster drawing here and I want to ink it. Okay, so what I what I tend to do is I go down here and then I, you know, create a a new layer and it's a vector layer. Now the vector layer um so anything that I draw on this particular layer is going to be vector line. I tend to use the G pen. It's it's kind of meant to simulate a quill, a dip pen. Okay, so the here's here's the the secret sauce of uh, of inking with with Manga Studio, and it's this thing here is called stabilization. Okay, so stabilization when uh, the stabilization is down here at the very bottom. When you ink a line, and let me I'm going to be really violent here with this line. See, okay, so this is the kind of line it makes with the stabilization is really low. And you could click on how low the stabilization is. Here's at zero. It means there is zero stabilization. Okay? And so you could see how extreme I can get with these crazy lines, right? Okay. Now let's go from zero all the way to the end here by clicking this all the way here and it says it's 15. Okay. Even with 15, the stabilization is allowing me to be very extreme. Okay, now I don't like it all the way up to 15. It's not stable enough for me. What I tend to do is instead of just going with whatever it, it ends up here at the end, I click this little arrow here and it gives me a, a number, a little number and that I could actually put in myself. See, so I put in 100. And that's um, what I'm going to use. So let me get rid of this. Now I'm going to use. I'm going to. I'm going to uh, move my hand exactly the same way I've just done uh, in the last two strokes with the, with going up and down, up and down, really extreme. Here I go. 
I was moving my arm all the way up and down from the top of the screen to the bottom, and look how stable how what the stabilization did. It stopped me from going that extreme. Okay, and the reason why you want that, why I like the computer to actually do that for me is that because that way when I go in and I want to um, ink my stuff, I'm guaranteed a very steady straight line. So do you see? So it stabilizes the lines so that um, my inking is very steady and straight. So you get these really beautiful lines just because the stabilization doesn't allow you to make ugly lines. Okay, so that's one of the things that I absolutely love. So again, just to recap, um, I went into the G pen and every single one of these pens has a stabilization row here. So I went into the stabilization, I put, put the uh, arrow thing and then I actually typed in 100 and stabilized it that extreme so that it, um, so that it's, uh, it makes uh, my inking lines beautiful. Another thing I really enjoy and I love about, um, now, okay, so now it, now that it's vectorized, here's another thing I love, and here's the, the, the eraser tool. Okay, now the eraser tool, what's so great about the eraser tool? Well, under hard erase, under the hard eraser tool, there's also um, there's um, this thing called the, the vector erase. So I have it clicked on, and what it has these three different things. So like the first one, the first one is called the erase touching Erase touching part. So anything that the eraser tool, let me reduce the eraser here. Anything that the eraser tool touches, so it acts like a regular eraser, you know? Okay? And then I've, so then I'm going to skip the middle one because that's my favorite. I'm going to skip the middle one and I'm going to go to overall line. So whatever, the overall line is whatever uh, line I touch completely gets erased. Okay? And now here's my favorite one, which is the middle one. And that one's called the erase up to intersection. So notice these sections here where there's an overlap and I got a bit sloppy with my inking. So what the erase up to intersection does is it actually erases up to the intersection, just like it says. So notice that it's, that I, I can clean up the excess stuff and it goes straight to wherever the two um the the lines uh cross so again so like if there was an overlap it erases up to the overlap so well, let me see the eraser again and then boom do you see boom it erases up to the overlap and then you get this so it makes it so that you can be a little bit sloppy and it's okay So you, I mean, it's great. Okay, so so let's say that um, oh, this is this is a little bit. Uh, see how this is too thick, or I mean, too uh, wide here, and I kind of want it to be a little bit more consistent. Well, how do I how do I actually change this line without having to redo it? Well, you can by going down here to this button here. You could do the the correct line. Uh, the correct line tool and there's lots of different ways to correct the line this particular one that it's on uh, shows you the vector points and you could actually manipulate the vector points so that you could move the line around like an object so even if you didn't quite get the line you wanted now I adjusted it so that it's a lot better see Isn't that awesome? Okay, so that's one of the things under the correct line uh, vector line. Uh, but here's another thing: you could also correct the line width. So this line is a little thick, too thick, and maybe I want this line to be thicker than this line. So I could actually go in here and say it says thin width, and if I have this process whole line button checked off. It thins, oh, 
thin width. Oh, I didn't. I don't have it on. I, I put thick, thick in. Thin width. I could actually reduce the width of the entire line. It thickened it because I ha actually had the thick, thickened width turned on instead of the thinned width turned on. So you can, again, you could also thicken it. And not only thicken it, but if you turn off the process, the entire line, you could thicken sp specific areas of the line. So where I actually touched, that's where it thickened. Do you see? And I could thin the areas that I touch when it's not processing the whole line. So you could get a very clean looking nice line, even if you didn't do it right the first time. So I love that, okay? That is fantastic. And on top of that, here's another really great thing that I love. And it has to do with this little box up here. It's got a little box with an arrow. So what this little box with the arrow does is if, say, um, you want to move, this line is not quite where you want it, you, you touch it and suddenly, you can you can manipulate the line. Oops, I didn't want to. You could manipulate the vector points, but what I actually wanted to do was just move it. See, and that's not quite right. So I ha has this little knob here where you could rotate it slightly. There we go. That's where I want it. So do you see? So those are the those are the things that I really like about uh, this program and the way that you're able to ink with it and the way it helps stabilize your line quality and uh, it makes you uh, seem uh, it, it helps uh, make you a better inker uh, digitally and 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 it, and, it, and it gives you so many options to play around and mess around with. Uh, the line once you put it down uh, to adjust and fix things uh, if you didn't quite get uh, what you wanted in the first pass. Um, so that's uh, my uh, that's just my little quick tutorial of of, of why it's uh, um, on inking uh, uh, using the ink uh, how to ink in, in Manga Studio and um, I just wanted to. Uh, oh, and if you if you like this video, uh, please uh, see about uh, consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, there, I uh, I release the videos early to all my patrons. But I uh, there's also a lot of different things that I also do for my patrons, including actually um, uh, draw their portraits and um, uh, they can they have they get uh, PSDs of my work uh, for the month and. and they're going to be they get to see a lot of this stuff like uh, this comic that I'm working on. Um, a lot of my patrons have already seen uh, what this is all about uh, because I'm working on it and I'm showing them to showing it to them and sending them uh, the process and the progress of this uh, comic as I go. So uh, stuff like that. That's that that's all uh, ready to go on my uh, to to my patrons, whoever uh, is at whatever level, um, all that stuff is already accessible and ready for them to download and take a look at. So um, thank you so much, uh, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye.